CV2Kit modules can be used in combination via the gate and pitch buses. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use a couple of these features to create a simple melodic sequence. In this example, we'll use a clock generator module to create the main clock for our sequence, a sequencer module, an AD envelope module to control our VCA, and a notes module to calibrate the oscillator and quantize the sequence. To get started, you first need to calibrate your oscillator. If you're not sure how to do this, check out our previous tutorial. After calibrating my oscillator, I'll patch it into the signal input of my VCA and patch the output of the VCA to my audio interface. The next step is to route the output of the sequencer module to the input of the notes module so we can use it as a quantizer for our sequence. In order to do that, go to the main layer of the routing matrix and route the output of the sequencer to the quantizer input of the notes module. To activate the quantizer in the notes module, click on the quantizer button. The settings for the quantizer, such as range, scale, and root node, can be found on the quantizer and MIDI settings on the sidebar. While the sequencer module includes an internal clock, we can clock it using another CV2Kit module, such as the clock generator. In order to do that, open the slot loader by clicking the letter M on your keyboard, and set both the clock generator module and the sequencer to gatebus channel number one. Modules that can generate signals to the gate and pitch buses have white color buttons, while modules that can receive signals from those buses have green buttons. Then go to the second layer of the sequencer module and make sure to turn off the internal clock. Now the sequencer module will be properly clocked by the clock generator. We can control the length of our notes by using an AD envelope. Load an AED envelope to one of the slots and set it to gatebus channel number one so it can receive gate signals from the clock generator module as well. All we need to do now is route it to one of the outputs using the routing matrix and patch it into the CV input of the VCA. Many of the CV2Kit modules can be combined using the pitch and gate buses for more interesting and complex patches. For more information, check out the user manual available at spectroaudio.com. Thanks for watching.